What, she was in your phone or something? Well, somebody uh, texted me talking about something. Hey, Tanil. Oh, I like that and shit. Oh, I had yeah. like 15, 20 of them bitches. He like, what the fuck, who is she? Sometimes, you ain't, you ain't, I, you some, ain't answer, sometimes I respond, sometimes I don't. I be like, okay, I am playing around. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Other times I just be like, wrong number. No. Get the fuck off my shit. And then, man, what, like, I don't know, do they, do they not check their, uh, the number before they start texting and shit? Who you talking about? Other people, people. yeah. I don't know, man. Especially if they yeah. saved in the phone, you gotta figure that, you know. Yeah. You gotta figure that down. If I say this number in my phone, then I know it's that this is the person I'm texting. Be texting random numbers and shit. Right. Can we cops on the podcast without uh microphone? I think so. I don't know. I guess cause let me try. More so a talk thing. We don't call it a podcast until further fucking notice. Right, I mean, shit, there's no rules on how to make a, co- a podcast, that damn No. It's not saying that you... But say with that being said, it. if you see where we at, we in the goddamn basement that ain't cleaned up. Right. And niggas need to invest in us, like, share, third post media. Uh, I'm going to set up this Patreon soon where you can even donate money. And it's not going into our pockets, it's going into production of third post media's future shows and future skits. So, fuck with me one time. <laughs> and when he do that, I'm going to set up a GoFundMe page. <laughs> no, we can't. We going to have multiple fucking... I uh, said for me. I don't get this. GoFundMe? Oh, GoFundMe go what, though? GoFundMe for, you know, I'm trying to buy a new camera. Oh. So I can go to school. Nick, nigga, going to tell you to get a job. I'm going to take the money and invest in third post. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is a good call. <laughs> man, I was just on Twitter, man. They talking about uh, this zookeeper that got mauled. Bro, a zookeeper? Yeah. A tiger. Bear? A tiger. A tiger. Well, you know what? I seen that. Somebody made a funny joke about that shit. It was like, uh, funny? No, no, no. It, I mean, in, in context of what they said, it was funny because they related it to what Tiger Woods is going through. That they both is just he said, he said, damn, Tiger, I thought it was just a DUI. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, no, funny, because the, head, the headline said, the headline said, uh, okay, no, Tiger, no. Tiger kills a man at zoo. And they was like, damn, Tiger, I thought it was just a DUI. And it was funny. I mean, it may not sound funny right now, but it was funny in the context of which I've seen it on Yeah, that, that, that's funny. That's pretty good. Except it was a woman, though. It was a woman. So that was an old, that had to be an old joke. It was old? I don't know, because that was a woman that got mauled. Oh. They said it was a free accident. She was sitting in one of their enclosures. And that thing snuck into their clothes and mauled her. That's how it did. And shit, they said it was a free accident. They closed the zoo and everything. Damn. Damn. I'm like, damn, hell yeah, you better close the zoo. You motherfuckers sneaking out and sneaking up on people and shit <laughs> up in their clothes. Crazy as hell. Hey, it ain't funny, but that 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 joke, the, the, how they related to... That would be an old question. How it related to what that man go through. First of all... He tweaked. Who, Tiger Woods? Yeah, he tweaked. You know what? I won't even say he tweaked. I say... He going through some things. He he was on top of the world at one point, and his fall is just, you know... I won't even say... It, I can't even say it's natural. I have to... I don't know. I don't he know what to say up. about it. He slipped up. You know what I will say, though? The commentary that you see about Tiger Woods and whatever he's going through. Because, put it like this, you can't really judge the man because it's plenty of people, none of, it's plenty of you niggas with no name, with DUIs, oh, yeah. and worse. So oh, yeah. you can't really talk about fucking Tiger Woods. It's just the whole thing, though. He's been off his game ever since what happened with him. And, and his he, wife? Yeah. Like, he, that nigga was he started, he, he started losing tours, like the tours he usually win. He started losing, he getting kicked out and shit. I'm like, wow. He still like one of the greatest Because his mind, say one, his mind state right. was not in the game. But, like I said, the commentary I've seen people, like, the way I see people talking about it is like, you really think you're perfect, fam? Right, a lot of people are going too much. And then, like, it, you see, you see, you, you've see, seen this type of downfall before anyway where people are going through something and they on a slippery slope. And then yeah. when, tra- when tragedy strikes, the same people who was making this, making the funny jokes about this man and what he was going through is the same ones that's going to act like they care. When, straight, when when something bad happened to him. Exactly, because when his father passed too, he was like going through with that. 
Same people, man. Yeah, you right about that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's without a doubt. Oh, Tiger, he was one of the greatest and this, that, and the third, but you go and search their damn tweets and they had a hundred jokes about this nigga and whatever he was going through in his life. And let me say something, too. What I found on Twitter. These stupid motherfuckers did not know Jamie Foxx's name was really Eric Bishop. I ain't know that name either. No Y'all name. ass tweaking. I, and listen, Google. I, I know, but <laughs> there, would, there would have to be a reason for me to Google Jamie Foxx's Jamie Foxx period. I do it because I Googled him one time to prove, because I told my cousin he won an Oscar for right. Ray. And I was like, I'm telling you, he did. We was trying to prove a point, man. I Googled him. And, you know, I was like, oh, shit, it ain't Jamie Foxx. Well, he, I knew why he called himself Jamie Foxx after Ray Foxx. Right. It was a tribute to him. That was his favorite comedian. So when we get why he... Because Jamie Foxx ain't a bad name. No, nah, he's not. Not a bad name. Well, well, but Eric, what's his name? Eric, Eric uh, Bishop. Bishop sounds so much gangster. So, more, so much more gangster. Better. I would probably go with Eric Bishop. Like, like he, like he, he... But Eric Bishop don't sound like he funny. Right, Jamie Foxx sound more like he funny. He just invested in that name with his comedy career. And right. He just kept it, you know. And his this but his daughter got Bishop name, you know, you know like you know how future name his baby, baby future. Right. He ain't do that with his daughter. Her last name ain't Fox, her last name Bishop. So, right. so yeah. Wait, she future name his baby 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 they call the future little future. His name is Future. I guess when you get money you can do what you want. Yep. Well uh, you can do what you want without the money, but it's with a baby mama like that, you do shit. Yeah. You can do I don't know. I don't get it. Listen, <laughs> name your kid whatever fuck blueberry muffin whatever fuck you want to name Little your Michael kid. Michael Jackson did blanket. Right, right. That is his baby name. I think uh, I think that was his nickname. Michael got problems still. His dad, I mean, he pet R. B. Michael. I ain't throwing throw in the name, but your ass had plenty of issues, and all all of it was not. He him. not give a fuck. <laughs> he was from a different time. You know, <laughs> the, the fifty, the fifties and sixties people did not give a damn. They shit. He had a never a Neverland ranch. Right. He invited kids, right. but he invited parents too. Right. All the little allegations, niggas was just hating on him because he had all that money, and he wanted he he recreated his childhood. I, I'll say this. That he much. never had. I'll say this much. I ain't fucking with no kids. Right. Well, but he. But you gotta think. He never had a childhood because mm. his father made him I, work. Hey, you ain't gotta explain that shit to me. Mm. I watched the Michael Jackson right. uh, final thing, mm. but I will say. Curtis ain't hanging around no goddamn kids. Yeah, I, I I still wouldn't either. Any any business I conduct or and and I'm foreign just, stuff, you know, I'd rather have naked women than dirty enough. Yeah, his dad said his dad. Listen, if you have the type of upbringing he had, you are gonna get a little fucked up because yeah, all you had, all the only chance you got to do was work, but at the same time, Curtis ain't fucking with no kids. Right, Yo, <laughs> you still got a child man. I ain't finna ain't finna invite y'all ass to my Neverland Ranch. Just to hang out with me, I'm grown as hell. Fuck that. Yo, Michael, Michael still had the chicks that look at Prince. Them kids like, ain't even here. Cause Prince was. Them kids ain't got an ounce of black in them. I swear they don't look like a boy. Yeah. They're too white. They got blue eyes, but you know he claimed them on his taxes. So. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Huh? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. He signed that birth certificate. So, claim on his so my cousin yeah. who claimed her other her sister kids, those are kids now. Yeah, she adopted some of them. That's crazy. But I'm just saying, like if you look at they, that whole family went and got goddamn nose job. Oh my god. They Even got the wife? The whole family. The, the whole Jackson family. Oh, you talking about oh you talking about the Jackson family, yeah. The Jackson family. They didn't want to look like Joe ass no more. Joe was like shit, here I only want to Because if you look at their old pictures, they some big nose, big nostril niggas. And now they some I think they did. He still got. The, <laughs> I think they did. He still got the same nose. Yo, no, all them went and got a uh, nose job. Yeah, his, I think his face is kind of. All them, nigga, we can look this shit up right now. Go, 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 all them, all their. Matter of fact, not only did they all their nose job, they all the light skin, like a little bit lighter too. So it was kind of weird when they was telling me like, I mean, if he adopted, uh, adopted a girl, if he adopted them kids, cool. But they were saying those was his, those was his uh, biological kids. Yeah, all of his kids. Those ain't his biological kids. No, those man, fuckers ain't got an ounce of black in them. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because they, you seen the older versions? They, gen, look, when you get when you get a, a plastic surgery, your genetics don't change. Yeah, you still do. you still yeah, black. They you still got big nose. nose. Yeah. They would have had something from them. They ain't. They have no kids. Like they do kids, look like their mama. Them kids are Caucasian. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids called Kate. They talking about he had a skin disease or something. Man. Yeah, he had. Uh, that's I'm, real. I'm I'm like, my, uh, yeah, but that shit. 
your kids won't come out white like that. Not at all. They, they'll be light skinned the at the most. If they had the same condition, just like anybody else with that skin condition, they still they still had a facial features of a black person. Right. They'd just be white. Right. Or they yeah. had or they would they'd be starting to um, get that spin that the, the skin yeah. pigmentation. They'd be like light skin. Like look, my cousin Kayla, little light skin, but boy, she was. I call her Butterball <laughs> when we was little. She came out so white, now she getting a little dark, now she a little, little yellow little thing. Right. So, and little boys better watch out. Not his kids, not their nose, nah. not their regular faces. <laughs> hey, man, they all know. It's like little Kim <laughs> and Lark Voorhees. Yo, have you ever realized just like how many people like they get these plastic surgeries and then when you say, like, listen, no, and it's not no, in, no, in no form or shape if it's to judge anybody. But when you get that shit, you can't expect people not to notice it. Right. They'll say something about it. Then you knew what the, what the hell was you thinking? If you already beautiful, like Lil' Kim and Lark Bordies, they that, pissed me off. They look that, like Eddie Murphy and Vampire in Brooklyn when he but, had that face. But that go that goes deeper than just whether it's, we can tell, like you can tell somebody, oh, I think you find the way you are. But if they don't feel that way, then it's going to be a problem. Especially in a in world where dark-skinned women are shitted on. Yeah, man. Look, Kim was look. Nineties, look, Kim was bad. Bad as hell. Two thousand seventeen, look, Kim looked fucking like an alien. Dude, look like something else now. He called her a dude. That's how she looked now. She looked like no dude. She, 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 her chin looked strong as hell. Talking about some. When she smiled, she looked like she can't smile. She looked like an alien now. Oh my god. But at the same time, I will say, whatever, was, whatever pushed her and her like to make her. Go light skin and then get all them surgeries. Come on, go light skin. She did go light skin. Yeah, she did. Her and uh, like Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa with light skin. Oh, I seen them pictures. He got blue eyes too. Damn. I'm talking about boy, he converted. <laughs> he jumped in the tub. Of that his. also, that's also a different. That's also a, you can attribute. You can attribute that to America making people of color hating themselves. But with so much black power. With so much uh, representation of black people, whether it be history from the Black Panthers to now, ain't no way I'm gonna be talking about some I wanna be white. Right, my white. Dick, listen, my penis is bigger. <laughs> I ain't I don't wanna be white. That shit is dead. Fuck that. <laughs> hey, man. Ain't no way. Yo, cause. True, listen, look at a picture of 90s little Kim. She was bad. Bad yeah, little thing. I think the only person competing with her at the time was, wasn't Trina and Eve out there? Nah, that was they, they after. But it was, she had plenty of competition on what was bad. Plenty. Oh, they, yeah, they early 2000. But she still was looking good early 2000. She ain't Who, started, Kim? Yeah. Nah, she, when she started getting all that done. Look, but she, nah, she had a, nah, cause look, look at you breath. got served. She had got, cause two, you she got looking served. like shit then too. No, you and you got served. That came out in 2004. That's when she got her titties done. That's the only thing she had. That's the only surgery she really had. Because she still was black. She still looked good. That was 2004. After two th after that movie, nigga, she... So cool. she started with the breast and it just kept... Yeah, going. she started with her breast. Because she looked, man. She looked and still looked good. But man, she made me a little excited, you know? She, everybody got a piece of little Kim, goddamn. Man, listen. Like she him, was like Dick. I, I think she she that no remember, remember when she got out of jail? What year was that she got out of jail? I don't know. Nah, two thousand four little Kim looked like shit. You looked it up? Two thousand four looked at two thousand. Okay, let me see something. You got served. Little Kim, you got served. No, but I'm, I'm telling you, she it, it has it was. I, I want to look at it. I want to see. I think I'm pretty sure it was like two two thousand one until now. She just pr progressively just fucked herself up. She did. She looked like your phone. Nigga, get my shit. Wait, 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 wait. Here you go. Stop hating. Get money, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> what? You, you pulled it up? Yeah. How she looked at you guys, sir. Slow moving ass thing. Look. But yeah, but she, you can tell she had the, she had um, what, light skin. She was dark skin. She was trying to, though, but she standing at the camp, though. You can't, you can't say she ugly like that. Hold on. Wait, I see it. I see it. You can't say she ugly like that. Not how she look now. I think she started like yeah, probably but like started. that. Once she got right there, she was all right. Exactly. But it was still weird because I was used to seeing Lil' Kim as dark skin. Yes. Yes. I, I may I was born I may have been born in ninety one, but I, I was old enough to remember dark skin Lil' Kim. Yes. And whatever the fuck she started, maybe yeah. maybe the effects of Biggie died, fucked the 
Probably, man. Maybe if I mess myself up some more, maybe he'll come back to life. So, cause she look like a zombie. That bitch look worse than that. Mm. She look like a fucking uh, creative player. That uh, motherfucker just looks like. Like a little wee character that used to come with a little avatar. <laughs> right. Uh, like, she needs to go on some level. Let's get off this topic. I'm tired of food. No, but no. Go back to this. Because there was a chick named, uh, she had a really big booty, but she get, she went to jail now. It was, uh, she was, she got like uh, the fixer flat put in her butt. Oh. I can't think of her name right now. But she had a, the biggest fake butt you ever seen. And she would get defensive when mobs would like call her out on it. Oh, niggas be hating. White white men don't care. Hmm. Like, bitch, white men are stupid. What the fuck you talking about? Ain't nobody, what, niggas supposed to be okay with some big fixer flat ass bouncing on them? That shit, right. that shit hurt. Tie your booty up. Right, you, you got all these rocks in your ass and it's hitting my stomach. <laughs> nobody wants to deal with that. Hell no, Hell I'm a no. big fake booty. And, oh, because, listen, I'll be mad as hell. And I came across a chick that I was really rocking with and she climbed on top of me and I'm thinking I'm gonna get the best ride. And then that first up and down hit my stomach, and I just like damn near throw up the food I ate earlier. Oh, <laughs> right. Go your like, ass home. Like, you are no longer shit. Not even. Get your ass on the bus. <laughs> Ain't no way. She call on Uber, got that. Ain't nobody for me. Right. Ain't nobody finna pay for her and all like that, man. You got that ass like that. Mm-mm. 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 No, bro. So, you want to go for current Lil' Kim? You want to still go? Because she is Lil' Kim. She a legend. I don't give a damn. She, don't, she look like a damn gargoyle. So I'm good. I don't look. You know what? I still go for Lil' Kim because she a legend. Black, <laughs> black is beautiful. Anybody that try to alter it. I, I, go, I go for what she did in hip-hop. That's the only thing. I, don't the only I respect reason. her. I'm always respect Lil' Kim. No. I ain't listen to her like that's, that. She, that's cool. You know? But I, I go. I, I'm in it. She can't ride me, but I'm in it. She, she'll fuck around and put a bag on. <laughs> Plastic bag, goddammit. <laughs> put a bag on her whole body. I never understood the whole. The, the whole fake ass way has ruined the enjoyment of uh, strip clubs. It is. I don't even, I don't like strip clubs. I don't go, I don't, I, I don't mean like I go often, but when I have went, I can tell you right now that that shit is like, like it, 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 it's just something weird about you. It, it makes you put like this. If you got, if you start like up here, your booty up here is like this, but your leg is like the size of a goddamn pencil. Mm. The fuck is you walking on chopsticks? Like, you know, they, I mean, they literally walk on chopsticks. Matter of fact, that you seen that um, YG video? Which one? Uh, the new video. He tried to make a 2017 tip drill. Oh, I heard. I ain't see it. Did you see old girl? You should have seen old girl in the back of that. Uh, Bike on the, uh, the little water water bike, whatever they call them things. Uh, uh, yeah, she was she, misshaped body bitch. If you ever seen one, they don't even care about that. All they care about is fat ass nowadays. And she would have been she would have been decent, but her boob job was shit and her ass job was shit. She ain't the man for all. I ain't I ain't the man that, that check for all that like that shit. You got a nice body, you got a nice body. I'm trying to alter your shit, buddy. Listen, nice with some with boobs. I don't care about. Go on ahead. You, you hate no, you hate no. I ain't hate no nothing. You, you, hate do, no what you, want, you do what you want to you do with no your body. Too. But I'm just saying, if you get them, you get them. But if you don't, I'm perfectly fine with that too. I ain't never, I ain't gonna never tell a woman you should get, you should have some bigger titties. If you had bigger titties, man, you'd be. Man. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that to them neither. But I'm saying if they, if they if go, if they them, want to get them, you look the good. I mean, if I saw a before or after picture. You know what? You'll make a mistake doing that because you're telling the chick that she made the wrong decision and her choice. Yeah, deflect isn't. the bitches. <laughs> nah. <dude. laughs> I mean, nah, I'm going to be a happy dude. I mean, you know, that's they fine. I mean, no, with, without a doubt, I, I feel like uh, you're going to always feel better with a natural chick. But if she got some big, fake tits, hey, and, I mean, not too big. I ain't looking for a chick with goddamn. I mean, if I can't motorboat them, if I like a two water balloon. Some hard water balloons. Hard water balloons. Like, balloons full of sand. It's been sitting shit. in the freezer. <laughs> if I can't eat. And I've had a ripple effect still, on my face. I'm pretty sure, you, like, with, tech, with the current technology and... But you know, a lot of them be stiff still. These white girls are out of control with it. They're just so obsessed with getting fake I titties. Listen, it's, 
Then black girls out of control with the fake ass. That too. And black yeah. girls with titties, the black girls are getting breast reductions because that shit is too big and it's hurting. It ain't, like, it ain't like widespread or nothing like that. It's not, but I'm just saying, white girls getting their shit done. And yeah. black girls get their shit undone. I just seen the chick on Instagram. She had a big, but she, she got to get a, re- a reduction. I was so upset, and I didn't even know this girl. Right. It, it's <laughs> and they were naturally hard, though. Right. A, a W. Motherfuckers got W's out there. It's a W breast size? Listen, I don't know nothing about it. I just know big and little. Yeah, I, I just know it was this porn star, Carmen Hayes, got a, a motherfucker. I know what that is. Yeah. Titties, <laughs> titties down to her motherfucking knees. But yeah, they look nice, though. They nice. Did, they nice. But she sat down there on her knees. <laughs> <laughs> when she stand up, though, they like, they big as hell. But they, you know, motherfuckers love it. I don't really like why but she gets some good head. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's change topic. <laughs> you know, you know nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, <laughs> they don't leave me on porn, man. man. We got that's the that's gonna be a whole new show. <laughs> Talk about that, you know. Oh, but I will. The only uh, topic of both going back to Fifty Young. Uh, two things that. I would say, I will say about the channel, niggas need to start supporting more. Right. And, Definitely. And if you ever want to know the history of what we do, it started with three of us, me, Derek, and Reese, and I had, I already had the logo, and I presented, I, 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 gave, I gave myself a hard time about coming up with a name. Cause the original name was Trap Print Media, but somebody already had that name. That we had to look it up. Yep. Then we, I did look it up actually. Head ass. Mm, I can't tell because we had to change. Listen, we, but we only had to change it once. Okay. But I looked it. I, I looked it up. Then I had the logo. This logo, we, I, I was using it, but one nobody buying the original shirts, so we decided to use the the current TPM logo that we got, and it's dope, y'all. They fucked with it. Yeah. Only mess with it because he was getting on my damn nerves. Come on, how does this look? All right, it's good. Come on, God, go. is he picky? Don't go. Like he a picky nigga. Like I mean, put like this, put like this. <laughs> when you when I put effort into something, I do sometimes I guess myself, but for the most for the majority, I pretty much stand on the choices I make. I ain't even want to be a part of this, man. They they drug me into this, nigga. He, he you the it. filmmaker. How he drug you into this? <laughs> we start making money, I'd be like, I'm the founder. Right. <laughs> There's three founders, nigga. I'm like, all right. I'm the name. I'm Mark Zuckerberg. Y'all the other guys. <laughs> you gonna do us like he did yeah, his yeah. friend? Let's make a settlement. All right, y'all get y'all 500 million, nigga. My net worth 56.8 billion. Nigga, go to the town. Get a little million. Like he did to the twins. Right, he did. Fuck them old. He gave them 650 million. No. His network to this day. Yeah, but if you if you look at how, mm. it, I mean, depending on how, how accurate the social media movie is, he he came up off them. They may get their millions, and me being a broke nigga, that sounds amazing. But if I was in a position, I'd be upset. That I, I would too, because I had to think about that too. But he did say it was an unrealized idea, and he was kind of moving slow on it. Mm-hmm. And he had the mindset. To go out and do it instead of sitting there. But it's also about taking that chance too. Like yeah. you take the chance you when you want to bring, like, like basically when uh, when we want to bring people in on uh, TPM, we gonna take a chance of people seeing. Like we might have a good idea and we moving slow on, right. and we may face a, a, a similar situation and bringing people in and and, and there's ways to protect yourself, but right. you know. They got to now, 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 we, now we understand how to protect ourselves, but before, we could have brought somebody in, had a good idea, we was moving slow on, they wanted to go do it somewhere else. Right. I, but you take that risk because you need that help. Right. And they took a, they they took a risk. But they took a risk that, in, that, that I guess it's, it's two sides to it. It paid off, but at the same time, they missed out being the founders, of, uh, the owners of Facebook. Well, or majority owners of Facebook. Well, Zuckerberg still, he's the majority owner right now. Right, but he's I'm... His, he got the largest network. Right, but I'm saying, but put like this, all the, being a founder of Facebook, just imagine how 
Many doors open up for them afterwards. Yeah, the other ones right now, currently, I think it's only it's five of them. Out of the five, I think only two of them are still involved with Facebook. Right. But you know, his his best friend, uh, you saw the movie? Mm -hmm. Okay, the one that... Yeah, was pissed at him. Yeah, the one that was pissed at him, he went off and did his own right. thing. He still got his shares, but he went off, he doing his own thing. You know, a lot of them making their own. Because the twins, I know the twins, they tried to make something... They tried to recreate something that's like Facebook. I think it's still up, but it's, I think it's for colleges and all like that. But it ain't, you know, it ain't known. But nobody really know it like that. Oh, that nigga. Marcus Urkabug is, he a fucking snake. Fuck them. <laughs> he a snake. I mean, they, look, people, people like to say don't make business a pleasure. But when you got a business, put like this, your business stems from some type of emotion, passion, ambition, something. So you, when people tell you don't mix business and pleasure or don't mix, mix emotions with uh, business, bullshit. Because, put like this, we started TP and we passionate about this, we ambitious with it. That's emotion. We have, we, we have some type of emotions uh, connected to TPM, which is a business. So what you think the right thing was meant for his other bird to do? No, I, he did look like this. He did the right thing in the eyes of the court. Because you think, do you think he could have brought them in as partners? He, he put like this, and we, we, all right, so there's two aspects to it. You, you thinking you thinking with your heart or you thinking with your brain on this one? Zuckerberg thought with his brain, which I approve of. That's but at the same time, too. you, have to, was, you right. have to look at the full thing as if these was these guys' idea, no matter if they were moving slow on the night, you still took that from them. Exactly. Now, uh, now uh, the twins don't get off because... Y'all shouldn't have been moving slow on this. Y'all should have put it like this. You should have put something in place so you wouldn't get gagged. Right. But at the same time, your emotion is he is in business. I, I say when it comes down to getting the lawyers involved and y'all making sure that you get your the part of the business that you want or get out of what out of the business that you want, cool. No emotion should be in that. Because at the time of but the settlement. You, but if you're talking about a, a, a upstart business like Facebook was during the, in the beginning. Yeah. They was, they was. That's where they got their settlement too. They was passionate about it. They was passionate about it. They was ambitious. And that's emotion. Right. Now, it, 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 I guess it got to be a balance in everything. Like being, a, being an artist, I guess, I always have to balance my business and my artistic value. Good. So I got to figure out, I got to figure out, uh, do I want to put something out that everybody else likes and I don't really fuck with it, but I know it's going to make money? Or do I want to put something out that, that I really rock with that it may or may not catch on to the people? At that time, at that time, Facebook was coming out. It was worth millions. Now it's worth billions. They got they could have fought harder, but it would have took even longer. So they settled with that 600 some million, right. and they're doing something with that. Because I think if he would have brought, for the people that don't, Think he should have just and, gave him a settlement. And, if he would have brought them in as partners, they would have been trying to fight for that majority ownership. And also, I don't feel sorry for them goddamn twins. I don't either. Because them motherfuckers were rich beforehand. Exactly. They were all silver spoon fed motherfuckers. Right. Zuckerberg was Matter of fact, in on the, college on the, struggling. <laughs> oh, right. He was. Yep. And he He's had, just smart as hell. Right. Bill Gates. Him smart and Bill Gates had something to come. Niggas needed food. Right. But what I was talking about was. You were saying something about. I think it was two movies. Right. The, the uh, Steve Jobs movie. It was Steve Jobs movie because I, I look up to him. He wasn't the best father. And both movies reiterate that. Thank you. Both movies reiterate that. But it's two movies. One with Michael Fassbender and the one with. Uh, what the hell's his name? Ashton Kutcher. Right. Ashton Kutcher did play uh, Steve Jobs. I think that's the best one. Uh -huh. The one with Michael Fassbender was I. Look at this fat ass pepper they gave us. Motherfucker's gonna kill somebody with this hot shit. Boy, that was like a dildo. You probably be fucking around with this. Nigga, listen. Nope, I don't I don't really get into all that. They give you that to, to throw on the tacos? Yeah. Oh, okay. You break it apart. Or you, know, you can squeeze the um the pepper juice out. Right, so I ain't never. I don't fuck with them like that. I don't like them. Why you got, break it up? They got some dope. They got some good talk. I know. I'm just saying. I ain't never like you know. I eat with them like that. Um, this was the same place I went when we drove niggas there. Right. I know. All right. But you know, I don't order for them like you do. You order them more than I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I break it on, nigga. I'm just saying. I'm trying to see how you gonna do it. Shit, I don't wanna. 
break this motherfucker and end up. Yeah, that's pretty good, bro. Man, he got a cucumber. And he got lemon, too. What the heck say back song, boy? <laughs> Y'all not make a goddamn taco. <laughs> uh. It's a coffee, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Goddamn. It'd be crazy if they were Hispanic and didn't know how to make a taco. Well, like us with chicken. Like, not, but not all black people make chicken. Hell no. I, I have some bad chicken from black people. Mm. I'm just to say, man, all black people do not make good chicken. Let's settle this debate right now. Who got the best chicken, Harold's or Uncle Remus? You ever had Uncle Remus? I, I, I never had Uncle Remus to even say, even, like, I'm not from out west, so I don't know. I was arguing with this girl. She had the nerve. You had, you had Uncle Remus before? Yeah. It's, it's, it tastes like house chicken. It tastes like my mama could make it. <laughs> Harold's tastes different for some reason. Tastes good. It depends on where you go to it. Right. This is a Harold's up north, and that shit is trash. We go to the one close to the house down there. Right. That one's good. Uncle Remus just don't. It's not different enough for me. She talking about, I'm like, that's the best chicken. I'm like, you know. She from my west? She from my right here. She went to Morel and stuff, but that's shit. Um, well, if she from out here, man. She does, she, listen, that sounds like somebody who, uh, listening to somebody else's words, don't know how to form her own opinion or some shit. I guess because she eat it so much, because when she was in school. Maybe her boyfriend from out west. Probably, some. That's what, that's what I just know, I almost punched her in her mouth. What? <laughs> through the phone. <laughs> through the phone. <laughs> through the phone. I just phone. playing with you. If you ever see this, I'm just playing with you. Maybe. Yeah, that. No, nah, I'm telling her boyfriend from my west. That's what that is. Was. I don't know. She saying like, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit She decent looking? No, I'm going to hit her up. You know, I don't want to disclose her. I think we we had we had tried to do um like because I thought I thought it was Reese Reese wanted to do that shit. The uh, the podcast thing, but he was like, nah, that's your idea. And I was like, all right. And then, but we we did do a small talk thing. Well, y'all did on the phone, right? Yeah, we did it off the phone. And we essentially had a conversation about if women had a third titty, was born with a third titty. You just keep it. Every time you talk about this, he always bring that story in. But I'm saying. It's like the 15th time we just heard this. No, it's not. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? You did bring it up when we first started recording. Remember that podcast we tried to do? We were talking about the girl with the third titty. Okay. You, you just fascinated with that. Right, because if women had a third city, it would be great. I don't understand how. What to play with? Only if it was an anime. Yeah, you the weirdo, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. You know, I, he talking about a third city on the female. I don't know where. You the weirdo. All right. We both got problems, goddamn it. No, did you? Can you just eat this bad stuff? Yeah, but your ass gonna be on fire. Is that hot? What a habanero? It's the real thing. Oh, yeah, what's, what's pepper? I don't know, but it's hot. I know that much. Because that's the only one they give you. Because the last time I bought this shit, that my mother was hot. You bet it do it? Mm hmm. Like a dickhead. I don't want to do it now. I don't want to. Go ahead, try. I test your skills as a man. Why you got to put manhood into it? See, you want to shoot below the belt, man. <laughs> now I got to do it. Go ahead. I'll think about it. I'll think about this door. I'm gonna take a little small bite. You don't have to go to the hospital because you had some fire. I mean, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm, I can tolerate uh, spicy food. I think this green, the one they gave me was red. See, this both. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel it. Is it hot? Oh yeah, it got a little kick in it. I ain't fucking with that. It ain't. I mean, nah, it ain't. It ain't. Nah, it ain't. It ain't too hot. It ain't too hot. Right. It got a little spice though. It's a little spice in my mouth, right? It's like the sauce a little bit. Okay. Man, that is overkill. They give you the hot shit plus a hot ass, a hot feel pepper, whatever you call that shit. Right, they like your ass on fire. Mm -hmm. You see why they put that job, the job, peppers and pickles and shit all in front of you on the table. You better have tacos though. Mm -hmm. 
Like I said, man, y'all know how to make a goddamn talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Fuck Trump, you know? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Trump. Yeah. That damn wall can kiss my ass. Yeah. Oh, uh, but what I was saying about the Steve Jobs, every time I Nigga, say you something. Are, you gonna go all the way back to that? I had to, because the camera keep cutting off. Uh, but I was just saying, I ain't no Apple was there back then. See, we were talking about it on the camera. Right. I didn't know Apple was there back then. And then the pepper got you sweating and shit. Hell yeah, it was on No, because I put so much of that green shit on it. I did too. I ain't sweating. I used two of them, though, two of them. <laughs> did you say two? <laughs> I ain't thinking straight right now. That shit hot. I said two of them. I mean two of them. Hot, and dude. look, the way you looked at your head, you said two of them. Damn, no, I had to look at it like, damn, I threw up three. What about a nose running and shit? Bro, man, he is, uh, Fifth flow. <laughs> fifth flow. But no, man, I ain't even know Apple was there back then and he took his friend. I mean, he was kind of on some user type, like he not not user, cause he he had to jip his friend a little bit. He told that man, <laughs> listen, what I what I realized if you look at business, at least where you looking at uh doing business at that level, you gotta fuck somebody over to get ahead. But now he ain't fuck more. He lied to him, cause he said he could pay him, and he ain't had no money. He told dude, I could pay you this and that. You're gonna get this and that, cause right. they this one, I, you know, IBM was the biggest electronic. Making company. A company in the world. So, I, I have yet to see this movie. I gotta see it. Now. You gotta watch it. So what he did was because you know what I did. I read about what he what I read about early days of Apple. I never really. Yeah. I really kept watching certain movies. Watch the one with Ashley Kutcher. The one with Fast Bender. It shows you. I think it just shows you his adulthood. It get more in depth. Yeah. Adulthood. It don't go right. all the way back. Like at the one with Ashley Kutcher. Right. It went all the way back to college. Right. Because he. It basically started to have uh, social networks started. Basically, it went back to college and all when he was younger, and then he, uh, up until then. But it did show him as a father that he wasn't a good father because he didn't believe the child was his. He was mad at his baby mama. <laughs> no, because he was. He got black nigga issues. Cause, cause, <laughs> no, because he was he was gone a lot. Right. And nigga, he, it he takes one just, drop. <laughs> exactly. He was just getting his career started, and he was like, uh, uh-uh, uh, no. No, that ain't, ain't my, mine. Ain't my baby. Right. I'm pregnant with who? <laughs> he gave him one of them. Because he was just like... getting his company off the ground, and then she came out of nowhere talking about I'm pregnant, which was suspicious. He denied the child for a minute, I think for like well, a year. Well, how or was it suspicious? The movie made it look suspicious. Well, yeah. Because we real, don't know the full The story. real story might have been this nigga nodded at it. And right, yeah. got a, got right. A he perfect. probably was dead. Be like, fam, life. if you hit it wrong, there's a chance. But no, he did. Eventually, he did claim his child. Right, because his daughter, she was on stage when he presented you know what? the Apple iPhone. Now I'm gonna watch the movie just for that part. <laughs> just, just so I can see this nigga had had what they had a stereotypical had, had a, you know they stereotype of a black man. Yeah, and we being deadbeats. This nigga's the we just fucked the ultimate. That's what movie. I liked about the movie. It went in depth on that. Cause if you look at Steve Jobs, won't nobody say that he had, he didn't claim his daughter. Right. Everybody, was, this is the creator of the iPhone, and then most people don't know he didn't even design the technology. He just was like, he was the guy to just be like, no, I think it could be better. No, I mean like he wasn't like the person that actually. I, matter of fact, engineered I go, it. I go so far as to say, Steve Jobs sound like Diddy to me. Right. He Diddy, like, Diddy, basically. Diddy didn't necessarily produce the music. But he orchestrated, he orchestrated to, to make sure that that's the word I was looking for. He to make sure everything was perfect. This shit burning. God damn, it's on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the burning sensation on my arm. I forgot the white girl on the table. You still, you still got a uh, Facebook page? Yeah. I fucking hate Facebook. I do too, but I man, hate hey, it hey, 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 can get you, uh, get things going for you. Yeah, true, but I'm talking about. And just the regular sense of people using it to stay in touch. Yeah, people yeah. don't really use it to stay in touch. Yeah, because I don't stay in touch with nobody. It's not, and then put like this. If you if you think of Facebook, if you think of Facebook versus Twitter, I swear to God, Facebook is like Facebook is like high school and Twitter is like college. Yeah, because Twitter is just so people it, get it could so be more advanced. And it, it, it people get so caught up in like this that fake news shit is real on Facebook. Right. I kid you not. I scrolled. I scrolled Facebook today, and I seen something about uh, I, I, it was something about some food. 
and I click and like and people don't people don't realize like visit the fucking website. These people get you to share it based off the headline. Right. And then if you if the only thing if you think that the headline says everything about the article, you're a dickhead. But also if you read the um, the article and you pay attention to the words, you can tell it's bullshit. Right. And then if you see the Arthur, if if, if there's no Arthur, right, just the post. If there's no Arthur, no date, a bunch of words, that. no date. And there, if there's no email where you can hit them up about where they, what their source where the sources are. the sources from? Yeah. It's is is a shit. It's a lot of people just sharing it. It's and a I shit. Read, I always read a fake art. Like it'd be like. What they say, Tupac's still alive. I'm but like, we still, what? But no, I think Tupac is still alive. Look, see, no, but that's not. But <laughs> Tupac is alive, baby. Yeah, we can, alive, we can go back and forth on this all day. I got niggas proof that Tupac is still alive. Big Biggie alive, man. No, there's a difference between past Tupac alive and then Biggie not. Put like this, Biggie got shot up. They have a picture of Biggie, Tupac's autopsy. Biggie got shot up in a cop full of niggas. And he was the only one to get hit. Tupac was in the car with Suge. He was the only one to get hit. Two people in the car. Trust me. Listen, it's set up. Fuck it. I'm the talk police about said when he I'm pulled, talk about it When the police, I right, one more thing. When the police, the is the police that was on the scene. He said Tupac's last words to him was "fuck you" because he asked him, "Sir, were you shot?" Tupac looked at him, said "fuck you" and died. Nah. Nigga, now we get off time. Tupac is in Cuba. Eminem said so. <laughs> He Tupac, saw a nigga, he, that nigga said, nigga said, hip hop ain't been the same since Tupac moved to Cuba on it. Eminem words, nigga. Tupac in Cuba. Tupac just got done making a movie. <laughs> All eyes on me. That nigga do look like Tupac. Tupac is. He like a fat Tupac though. You know what? I have no interest in seeing that movie. I don't either. Not like I did with Notorious. Because I've read like being somebody, I, I, I run a, I, I ran the hip hop website. Yeah, so. Lord, this. <laughs> Don't be an asshole. I so, ran the hip hop website, so I, I so being somebody who right. music got listened to since I was short, you if you that interested in the music and hip hop period and the culture, you gonna look this shit up. Yeah, I don't need to watch the movie to know that none of this th- shit that's gonna be in there. I've right. read about it already. Right. Fuck that movie. Plus, dude look like a that nigga look like Target. Right. They, t- they talk. They talk about it so much that you don't even need right. a movie no more. Like. We know he got shot. Do it, and he didn't want to do so much shit. This man I did shit. watch um, the Biggie movie. Though. I did. I liked it. Not Oscar one here, nothing like that. But I liked. It. I always watch it for some reason. It's like one just catch my attention. I didn't like how they did Diddy. They made Diddy too much like a Power Ranger or something. Like he just a, he was the angel with the halo in the movie. That's how they did it. I don't like how they did that. To no, change the world, no. we got to change ourselves. No, I think, I think that nigga they portrayed Diddy. As a like a a a, a downplay of, his, of himself because they showed that he was ambitious, but they didn't show. I like, like the ambition. I didn't like how they. But I don't think they showed his full character. Exactly. It would, but which is which is fine. I mean, because it wasn't centered on him. What he what he do what he, what he did that was so messed up. People like the people like to complain about him fucking over the artist that he signed, but at the same time, I can if they wasn't kids, right? You should you should have had some type of. Especially, especially like people like Barry but they have been in the game. Well, no, he, they, I say if you grown, and well, no, I can't yeah. even say that because in the nineties they didn't have the internet to, where they can go look up this stuff. The internet wasn't as good as it is. Right, now. that's what I say. So, but at the same time, if you signing deals without knowing what you what you signing, right, you have to take some blame for that. All people, all you have to take some blame for that. Just the money. But at the same figures. time, but at the same time, if you hold in a creative hostage and you know they won't out, you know, keep keep what you feel like. Cause put like this, locally there was a, a artist by the name of Alex Wiley, and then there was a label a label called Closed Sessions. Uh, basically, he wanted out of the label, but he hadn't uh, fulfilled his duties to the to the label. That's business. You right. can't, and, and and that's what that's what I, that's what I mean when I say there, there is emotion in business, but at some time, at some point, you gotta think logically about did I fulfill my end of the bargain of the, of the contract? Right. You can't be mad that I'm I'm saying I'm keeping your masters because you didn't you didn't make us the we didn't you didn't we didn't make back the money that we invested in you. Right. You can't be mad at that. Uh, I, you know I'm more really into the music industry. You know I I I think I've been into music industry for since I was. 
about since, love music. Since I learned, since I learned who Gangsta Pat was, since I learned who uh, who uh, the real Shantae was, like KRS One, Love's Gonna Get You. That's my shit right there. Yeah, so. I love you. KRS One. Yeah. I've That's always been, I've always been in the music. Yeah, I, I love music. It's just that I want, I, I never was interested in being a rapper and all like that. I, I, only thing, close thing I do is be a producer. That's all I do. Right. I wouldn't be no rapper or nothing because it's just. And, and and a lot of rappers you start to see I noticing that too, like they rather produce and make their own label. That's and not all true. Like that. I'm just, just saying. I'm if saying you look a lot at, of, if you look at the amount of rappers right now, these niggas they still as stupid as well. They still as ignorant as the night. I, I ain't say they were smart. I just say a lot of some are like Rick Ross. He ain't no producer though. Uh, he got double. Um, what's the what's the fuck is this called? Maybach Music. That's a label, though. I'm just saying, he started his own yeah. label. Tell me right. making business moves like that. But every artist ain't smart enough to even... Exactly. I ain't, I ain't say that. Right. Don't quote me on that. I ain't say they were smart, goddammit. <laughs> if they were smart, the rap game would be so much better right now. When everybody claimed the 90s rap game and all that before then... Can't even say that, because I won't, I won't call Lil Yachty stupid. He, went to, he graduated from high school. He did two years of college or something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, the music yeah. he made. It just ain't what people want. Like, Ain't what real hip hop heads want to hear. <laughs> Nigga. Chill. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, I hey, I can't never, I could never like be that upset that no. Nah, he he was doing too much. I think that was just for the camera or something. Or he was just really that pissed. No, nah, Joe Button was he definitely was. He was he was pissed. He was pissed. Okay. And I think a lot of people over a lot of people wanted just to just wanted to talk about the reaction instead of actually what he was saying. Yeah, so, I, but, I so one was coming from a place of wanting to help the younger generation, yeah. but at the same time, it's how you relay your message. Yeah. Like, nigga, you gotta chill the fuck he, out. Like, you sound like an uh, angry stepfather. Like, yeah. I don't put like this, and then the whole, the whole, every like, if you know what a three sixty deal is, that means the label got they, they, in every they, they, they get a piece of everything you do under, like Lil Yachty, if he's if he's signed to a three sixty deal under the name Lil Yachty, you get a piece of everything. So like the Spark promotion, um, right? Like Right, every, they get a piece of everything, but at the same time, people don't realize that some of these artists, it's not bad to be signed to a three city deal if you certain artists. Right, like they may not have, they may be, like say if they took, if I'm I don't rap, and, and I don't really have a like that, I'm not an influencer or anything like that. So if I decided to sign to a label, they pro- I, I would probably take a three city deal and they would own everything I do, simply because they created. What I'm going to be, so, right. and maybe I'm wrong on this. Who the fuck knows? But people who know know. But what I'm saying is, three sixty deals aren't the devil. People that it ain't the devil that the people make it out to be. So, but Joe Budden relate him. He need they definitely need to relate a message better. So people here, if you pre- like, especially and then I know this for a fact. People my age, if you preach it to me, I ain't gonna hear that shit. Right. I don't, yeah, that preacher starts just dying. If you preach it to me, I am, I am not going to want to hear that shit. Right. Ain't nobody going to try to hear that. Man. But, I'll, Joe, Joe Bunn, he would, I understand what he was saying, but it was, he, he, was, he was going a little right. too crazy. I feel like, I feel like, contrary to the react the, the, the reaction he got when Yachi was answering these questions, he really sounded like he he was really interested in what that boy had to say. Just, you can't be a, 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 a crazy nigga doing it, though. <laughs> right, man. That's right. Was, that just was funny. I guess because he was mad because he was probably doing the same stuff he was doing or something. I don't know, but he need to go chill out. Ball head does. Don't have no but. The button can rap though. Oh, yeah. A lot yes, of people. Yeah, I listen to Slaughter. A lot of people. A lot of people just run to pump it up to talk about Joe Button. They do though. That's be that be funny. It'd be that, funny as hell. That that, that what? But Joe Button can rap. And if you he can. And and I think somebody. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I think we was over. Uh, we was over somebody house. And I said about the two, the shady two point oh freestyle. Oh yeah. I said Joe hey, Button. Joe Button freestyle. had my Joe Button had the best freestyle. To know. me, okay. To you, to me. Eminem. Just, just because everybody gonna run, everybody gonna say now, Eminem. Um, I for for a while I put Royce the Five Nine over Eminem. Royce had a good one, but 
Sometimes I don't want to hear that. Miracle, spiritual, ritual, this is different. Get the fuck out of here with that. He's about every no part. Right. Lyrical, spiritual. Man, I don't want to so, hear that. Listen. Criminal. What Joe Budden was saying, what Joe Budden was saying hit at the heart because he was saying something real. So that's why I gave it to Joe Budden. Yeah. He was really talking about what he was going through. He put his emotions in a rap. Eminem. He just, hey, he played with words. But I say, I say, in a, as, a, as a true lyricist, he gets it. I get it. He's the man. Yes. But Joe Budden had the best freestyle. Okay. And that's all. And I like all of them. Nah, I didn't like all of them. Who you ain't like? I ain't Not Yellow Wolf. Okay. I, I yeah, no, Yellow Wolf wasn't bad. He wasn't bad, but I ain't like it. Like that. I put him at the bottom. <laughs> I'll put him at the bottom. You know. Hey, Yellow Wolf wasn't bad. But when I heard Budden, though, I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That man got bars. I mean, it's, he got plenty of songs out there on that show that he got. He can rap. Yeah, I, I just I want to listen to him. It, it, it Joe Budden, Joe Budden, one of them guys that he make it hard for you to like him. <laughs> Don't make it hard for me to like you, fam. Yeah. I I just want to listen to him until he got with Slaughter. Cause I. Nah, Maurice, Pump Maurice up. really know about uh, Joe Budden. Cause hey. I was just like. Pump it up, I was like, yeah. Pump, 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 pump it up. From, from you guys, sir, that's the only time I knew that song. I'm like, Joe Budden, son, man. I ain't even know he's son. I ain't even know he did that. He song. did a whole video to it. I, ain't, I never knew the video. I never saw the video. And people be hating on him, but he, he, he cashed in on that. What did he say on the freestyle? He said, sir, from the new school, I'm going to sit, check your tone and watch your mouth. They teaching how to duggy. I'm condoning dropping out. <laughs> Foster, where well, y'all birthed me, gave me up. I just perfected being hip hop's foster child. I check it. That nigga, oh my god. I know the whole cypher. I know the whole cypher. Except Yellow Wolf. I mean, I know his part, but you know. 